Today we're going to learn a basic, easy knitting stitch. For all you beginners, it's very simple. All we're going to do is learn how to cast on, and then we're going to knit one row and purl one row. Very simple. It's right-handed, and it's continental. Okay, first we're going to learn how to cast on. First, with casting on, you have to make a loop. So, turn the thread, grab a piece, bring it through, and make a little loop. Take your needle, put it on, tighten it up, and then we're going to cast on. Now, what you do is you hold the thread like you're holding a slingshot with your thumb and your pointer finger. And you go under the thumb and around the pointer finger and then tighten it. Under the thumb, around the pointer, tighten. Under the thumb, around the pointer, and tighten. Under the thumb, around the pointer, and tighten. Under the thumb, around the pointer, and tighten. We're going to put on about 15 to 20 stitches. This is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I think 15 looks good. You just want enough stitches so you can see what you're doing. So we cast it on, and when we cast it on, the way we did it, we actually knit it. If you look at the back, you'll see. You actually knit it. Okay, now we're going to knit one row. With your other needle, you put it through the back and you take the long part of the thread and you have to get control with your left hand. What I do is put it around my pinky and then I wrap it but whatever way is comfortable for you and you have control of that thread, do it that way. But we put the needle in through the back, wrap it around the thread, put it onto this right hand needle, and then you pull it off. Through the back, wrap it around, pull it off. Through the back, wrap it around, pull it off. Very simple. Through the back, wrap it around, pull it off, and we're going to do that until we get to the end of the row. Okay, now we're going to purl. Now purling is just the opposite of what we just did for the knitting. You got to bring your thread to the front. Get control of that left hand again. Take your needle, bring it through the front, 
wrap it around, wrap it around this needle, bring it off, put it through the front, wrap it around, pull it off, wrap it around, pull it off, bring it through the front, wrap it around, bring it off. Through the front, wrap, bring it off, and we're just going to do this all the way across till we get to the end of our row. Through the front, wrap off, through the front, wrap off, through the front, wrap off, through the front, wrap off. And we'll just keep doing that. Make sure the thread is in the front. And just do this till the end of our row. Now, this is a stockinette stitch. Now, this is a stockinette stitch. And see how it's looking now? Stockinette stitch. Now we're going to knit again. Let's go through the back. Wrap. Bring it off, back, wrap, take it off, back, wrap, take it off. Now let's just do this all the way to the end of the row. Once we get past that first and second row, it gets easier. We could actually work a little faster because it's you have the basics. Now let's purl one more row. We're going to purl one more row across. Just so you can actually see how the pattern looks. Our stocking stitch. Through the front, we wrap it, pull it off. Through the front, wrap, off. Front, wrap, off. Front, wrap, off, front, wrap, off, front, wrap, off, and let's just finish the row till we get to the end of the row doing our purl stitch. This is the purl stitch. When you're in the front of the material, it's purl, and when you're in back, it's knit. You could actually purl and knit the opposite way, but usually they'll tell you when the pattern calls for you to do it that way. But normally just front for purl and back for knit. Okay, and we're at the end of the row. Now look at the front so you can see the pattern. Isn't that just so lovely? So, this is your basic knitting and purling. Knit one row, purl one row. Okay, ladies, after you've worked in your knit one row, purl one row pattern for a couple of rows, you're going to end up with this. This is the stocking net stitch which is knit one row per one row